Hello everybody, it's an original artist here and today I'm going to do a farming tutorial for you all. So there are three ways you can till soil. One is a regular steel hoe or a cut sapling can be used as a hoe. Another way is a stone hoe, but we're not going to do those because I hate those so fucking much. You can either do one fertile soil pile, or three, unless you're in two hour, which you can do just two, or one or three. But in one hour, you can only do one or three. Skewer. We're gonna keep that actually for later now. Wait, you're not weak yet? Are you weak now? Now you're not weak. Hey, you last a while. Never mind. That was a lie. To plant a domestic berry bush, take a gooseberry from a wild berry bush, use a flint chip on it to get a seed, plant it, then water and wait. Now domestic is very different from a wild. A wild one will regrow without any intervention, but a domestic one will not regrow unless you give it dirt and then water. There's a lot of people say, keep the last berry on the bush so it will regrow, but it will not unless it's wild. Letting it only have one berry left on the bush that is domestic is just a waste. So to do a carrot, you need a seeding carrot, which is found in this biome like here. You take the seed off of it, carrot seed head, plant, and water. Pretty easy. To do corn, you need whatever this is called, test, whatever, which is also found in this biome as well. You just click on it, and then you'll have a seed, and you plant and water. To do wheat, you just click it and you can find it in this biome, like right here. Plant, water. To do onions, you need a wild onion and you plant it water and you'll have to wait because onions have different types of transitions for actually getting onions out of them to do a squash you just click it and then you need a stone and you'll get a seed which you plant water and squash I believe is also found in this biome I believe and for bean you just click it in which you also find it in this biome like that and then you plant and then you water it and let's see here a tomato, a wild tomato, which is found in the jungle biome, you need to put it in a clay bowl, and you're just gonna have to leave this alone for a while, and let's see, for potato, find a wild potato plant, which I believe is found in this green biome, 
You need a sharp stone for a wild one. And then you get seeds and you plant. And then water. This one also has different transitions, things that you need to do to it for it to grow properly, but you need to wait. Pepper, which you find in jungle, you just need a flint chip, like a berry bush. And then water and wait. And for wild grape, uh, it's a lot different actually. You need copper wire on a fence kit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Makes a weird noise. And then you add it to fertile soil. And then you need shears, I believe. And then you get the cutting. And then you add it there. And water. Okay, so see this onion now, blooming onion, click on it to get the seed, and so you see this is hard and roll, get a bowl, add a bowl of dirt, use the hoe on it, now we've got the seed, plant it again. And water it. So we have carrots here, carrot roll. We can just pick them if we want to, but we also want to make sure to get seeds. So if you need seeds, which in a bigger town generally you will, you leave it alone and then eventually it will turn into seeds. Okay, now for trees, trees are a bit different, but they're similar to the grape. You just take shears, use it on a tree, and you'll have tree cutting. You need to water it. And you'll need to water this again in about half an hour, I believe. So we have the potato. You need to get a bit more dirt when it gets like that. And now we have this here. This is fermented. Now we need to add water to it. Take the water out and you'll have tomato seeds, which you plant, and then you water, and then you have to wait, and then you're going to have to add a skewer to it. Check this so it can dry. See, this is green beans right now. If you use a bowl on it, you could have a bowl of green beans to eat from, or you leave it alone to dry so you can make stew or burritos. I believe that those are the only two uses. Do you make bean tacos from them too? Huh. See, the onions are doing a different transition from the last time. You need to plant onions basically twice. Because first is a wild onion, and then you're basically domesticating it, I guess. And then you're getting it to grow actual onion the second time. And now we have a squash here. Which, uh, let me see. To harvest the squash, you need sharp stone, put it on a plate, use a hatchet or an axe on it. And then 
right click on it to get a seed. And then you just water it. See, we got onions. The beans have dried, so you could make stew, and you just straight up use one of them for seeds. Grapes are growing. Cool. See, they turned into seeds, so now we have carrot seeds, and you usually should put carrot seeds in a bowl. You can put most seeds in a bowl. I believe basically all of them can be put into a bowl except for potato. So the potatoes here have grown, as you can see, mature. You just use a shovel to harvest them. And if you want to get a seed again, just put the potato in the water because it's basically similar to real life where it will grow an eye or grow eyes. So you just got to put it in there and wait. Peppers have grown and you just click it and use a flint chip to get a seed on it again. The tomato has sprouted. It won't do anything unless you add a skewer. So you need a skewer, add to it. So we have this dried ear of corn. You can get a seed from it by using a flint chip on the dried ear of corn. Dropping the flint and then add it to the dirt and then water. And you will eventually get more corn. See how it's growing little lines on it? It's sprouting. Those are eyes. You use a flint chip on it. And it splits. And then you just put it into the dirt. Water. And repeat the same thing as you did here. Okay, so this is languishing domestic gooseberry bush. You need to add a bowl of dirt to it and then water it to make it okay again. And looks like these have grown. Now this needs to be taken care of. After you have taken all of the grapes off, you need to use a bowl of water on it, I believe. Right? No shears. Shears, then water, and it'll regrow again, and it will be overgrown, so you need to use shears on it again. To get seeds from milkweed, you need it to be fruiting, and then you just click it to take off this, and you click the debris when it's like that yellow thing because it's fruiting, and you get a seed, and then you just plant in water, and it's... Basically the same thing.